Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford, and welcome to Learn English Speaking Challenge 13. Today, my question for you is, what is your guilty pleasure? And in case you don't know, a guilty pleasure is something that you do that you like, or maybe you love, or maybe you are even a little obsessed with, but it's not necessarily good for you. So I'm going to give you some ideas of guilty pleasures, very common guilty pleasures, to help you answer my question. So let's go. What's your guilty pleasure? What's your guilty pleasure? Calling into sick to work, just to lounge around the house and big out. Watching a movie, an emotional movie, crying your eyes out. Listening to music that's not so cool, disco music in the shower. What's your guilty pleasure? What's your guilty pleasure? Dancing home alone so you can let loose and play the air drums cheat when you're on a diet by pigging out on something sweet reading trashy magazines the gossip about your favorite hollywood stars what's your guilty pleasure what's your guilty pleasure Guilty pleasure number one, calling in sick to work and just lounging around the house. So what does it mean to lounge around the house? Well, there are other ways of saying it. Lounge around, lays around, bum around, os around. And all of those mean that you're lying down or sitting down and basically doing nothing. You're vegetating. To pig out means that you are eating, but you're eating too much. So we say that you're overeating, just like a pig. Guilty pleasure number two crying your eyes out during an emotional movie. So it's that one scene that really gets to you. It's that one scene that really touches you, that is very moving. And that can cause someone to cry, even a man to cry, especially if the lights are off and nobody's looking at you. Guilty pleasure number three, listening to uncool music, music that is not cool, and maybe even singing it in the shower. It's corny, it's sappy, it's old fashioned, it's outdated. And good examples of music like that would be disco or power anthems. Guilty pleasure number four, dancing home alone, letting loose, and maybe even playing some air drums or some air guitar. So letting loose means that you become totally uninhibited. You're totally free and you express yourself by dancing in any kind of crazy movement that you want to do because nobody's around to watch you. And some people, when they're listening to a good song, they will start to play an air guitar, play the solo, or maybe they'll play that drum part. You know who I'm talking about. And that is guilty pleasure number four. Guilty pleasure number five, cheating when you're on a diet and picking out. Now, you probably remember picking out from one of our previous guilty pleasures as being overeating, eating too much, like a pig. And to cheat means that you break the rules.
And finally, guilty pleasure number six, reading trashy magazines. So reading trashy magazines, what is trashy? Trashy means garbage. So in this case, it means very low quality magazines, gossip magazines that you will often find at the supermarket as you're paying for your groceries. And there's a lot of pictures in there talking about the private lives of the Hollywood stars and all the famous artists. So that might be your guilty pleasure. Okay, everybody, I hope I have given you some ideas about what a guilty pleasure is. And please post your comments below about what is your guilty pleasure. And I look forward to reading your answers. Bye for now. Pleasure. What's your guilty pleasure?